What is up guys, it is your boy Tech Rodgers and welcome to some Onslaught DLC gameplay on the PlayStation 4. We're playing on the map Fog. This is not a live commentary unfortunately. Um, it's a pretty decent gameplay. And I, I'm going to be talking about the map Fog in this gameplay. First of all, I would like to apologize for the lack of Onslaught content because of the fact that my exams are going on and I have very little time to put out content for you guys so I am pushing the limits by putting this content out and this is the best I could get for you in the limited time I have so yeah hope you guys appreciate that and the map fog is really close quarters fast paced and it's a change of pace for for Call of Duty Ghosts because Call of Duty Ghosts the stock maps which come with it have um, are really big and really slow paced and the pacing of the game and overall is really really slow I'm almost like battlefield but I have somewhat gotten used to that slow paced nature of the game and I am a slow paced kind of player try I play a bit defensive and cautious and tactically uh, so this change of pace is new and it's really entertaining for me so I really enjoy the onslaught maps um, this is why I'm using the vector k10 Pro, no vector game right crb uh probably one of the best smgs in the game uh i think the mtar x is probably a little better but the vector k10 is no less the damage is high and the rate of fire is high and it's really you can be really accurate with it with the red outside i'm going to do a best class setup of this weapon in a f uh, in a few not a few minutes in a few days of course that was just dumb all right uh so yeah I was using the Christmas camo on the Vector K10. I knew Vector CRB. Why do I keep saying Vector K10? Uh, I know it's a bit late and Christmas is already over long ago. Um, initial impressions about the Maverick. Um, it is a good gun with high damage, and but the rate of fire is really slow. That is the issue. And in my opinion, it's not the best assault rifle, but it is a good change for a DLC weapon because Infinity Ward as a developer cannot make DLC weapons overpowered because people would complain that whoever didn't buy the DLC would complain that this is not fair and, and stuff uh, people like are literally buying the success in COD what I mean to say is that people buy good weapons and they become better than a person who doesn't buy the DLC so it's a good it's just meant to uh, give, bring some change into the game and um, mainly more variety uh, with the content pack that's what you're getting you're getting new maps some people hate the maps in ghost and i in my opinion this map pack can actually change the, the opinions of those guys who did, do not like the maps as much i do like the maps i feel they are big but at the same time you can get used to them and probably do good on them like i'm doing in free for all and stuff so it's a change of pace i and it's pretty entertain man, entertaining in my opinion to play tactical and safe yeah and this is a good change of pace of course so i hope you guys enjoyed this fog dlc gameplay another thing i forgot to cover is the special field order in on this map is michael myers you run around with an axe the horror film mu music uh, plays in the background you get all hyped up it's pretty fun i haven't got it yet I haven't got the field laws yet. As you guys saw in this gameplay, I was going for them, but I couldn't quite get it. Whenever I threw down a care package, I got a Trinity rocket or something like that. But I've seen a guy get it once, so it's pretty fun, in my opinion. Run, run around with axe, blood on your face. Pretty badass, in my opinion. Uh, really great that they added this kind of horror feel, film kind of feel. So, hope you guys enjoyed this fog gameplay. We'll be getting Michael Myers gameplay and the, another maps gameplay as soon as possible. When my exams get over a lot of new footage, I'm out. Peace.